Setting up the complex valve train and multiple timing chains on a Coyote engine can be a bit intimidating, but don't worry. If we can do it, so can you. Here's how we did it and what we used. To improve timing chain durability at high RPM, we chose Ford Performance Parts Boss 302 Timing Chain Tensioner Set. Ford says these are also used in the 2013 Mustang Cobra Jet engine program. That's good enough for us. Speaking of timing chains, CompCams offers their high-tech timing chains for Coyote engines. They're a good upgrade for modified engines, and besides, our factory chains had 70,000 miles on them anyway. Rather than use the factory sprocket on the left, we opted for Boundary's billet timing chain sprocket on the right. Move the crankshaft so the keyway is at the 9 o'clock position. We installed the lash adjusters, followers, and camshafts. With the camshaft data labels pointing up, we used a shop manual to install the camshaft caps and torque them properly. We replaced the secondary timing chain tensioners with the Boss 302 units from Ford Performance Parts. Here's how to set up the chains. Install the secondary timing chains on the VCT cam sprockets so that the marks on the exhaust sprockets align with the single colored links shown on the left and the marks with the intake sprockets are between the two colored links shown on the right. Install the VCT assemblies on the camshafts. Use a wrench to hold the flats of each camshaft and torque the bolts to 133 pound inches plus 90 degrees. Use new bolts as the original bolts are torqued to yield. Install the crankshaft sprocket. Loop one of the primary chains over the driver's side exhaust sprocket and align the colored link with the mark. Wrap the driver's side chain around the back teeth of the crankshaft sprocket so that the colored link aligns with the mark as well. Install the driver's side chain guides and tensioner. Note that we use the Boss 302 primary tensioner. Once we tighten the bolts to 89 pound inches, we pulled the pin to extend the tension plunger. Now turn the crankshaft keyway so it's in the 12 o'clock position. Install the passenger side camshafts so the data labels are roughly parallel to the deck, which is about a 45 degree angle. Install the secondary chain and VCT assemblies. Use a wrench to turn the exhaust camshaft slightly if necessary to fully seat the VCT actuators. Wrap the passenger side primary chain around the exhaust sprocket so that the mark aligns with the dark colored link on the chain. Wrap the passenger side primary chain around the crankshaft sprocket so the mark aligns with the dark colored link on the chain. Check that both the driver's and passenger side primary chain's colored links align with the mark on the sprocket. Double check all the marks and then install the passenger side guides, primary tensioner, and then pull the tensioner pin. That's it. Happy coyote building.